Hello everyone, welcome to IEEE Expert. Today we are going to see project about employee attrition prediction. Here term attrition means that departure of employee, departure of particular employee from an, from an organization. Okay, if someone relieving from organization means it called employee attrition. Okay, so here in organization field, employee attrition field was most important. Okay. They have to withstand the current employees. So we have to predict the employee attrition before. The departure of employee can be predicted earlier. Okay. If you are predicting employee departure earlier means we can give more freedom to that person or we can sort out the problems. We can hire that person. Okay. Permanently. So the employee attrition prediction was most important in organization field. Here we are going to predict the employee attrition using deep learning. Okay. By with combination of big data analysis as well as deep learning, we have to form the structure to predict the employee attrition. Okay, departure of employee from an organization. Here we have to take multiple features. Okay, multiple features from an employee. Using those features, we have to predict the attrition of that employee, departure of that employee from an organization. Okay, this is the project we are going to take. Here the features we are going to use was age, education, gender. Uh, travel distance as well as uh, marriage status, job certification, job involvement, then complete turnover as well as the rewards he was getting. These are the data we are going to train. So for this project, we have prepared some PPT here. Look at the PPT also. So this is the overall architecture. So company, we have to calculate the features. We have to form to the deep neural network. Deep neural network will analyze the features. Based on the feature, it will show whether the employee can be uh, departure or not like that. Okay, this is the project. Here we are going to use Python for the implementation of the things. We have to use Anaconda ID. Okay. So before that, if you need any machine learning help, please follow itplexpert.com. Directly we can go for the project now. So I'm using Anaconda ID for running this project. So this is the code I'm using. You can check the data set also which you are using. Okay. See the data set which you are using. So th this is the data set we are considering. Here we have taken nearly 30 employees from different profiles as well as different field. So features as I mentioned, I am considering features distant from home, educational level, then educational field as well as gender, job role, job certification level. Marital status, monthly income data, as well as new companies work over time. How much over time he have done? Percentage of salary increment over the year, as well as we are taking years in current organization, as well as last to promotion data, years since promotion. Those are the data we are going to take. Okay, so directly without wasting time, directly I'm running the project now. So I'm using local part for the pro running the project. As well as I'm going to use Python app2.py as my main file. So once it's compiled, it means it will form the local host address. I'll put my local host address here. So this is the home page which you are going to use. So this is the home page. Employee attrition prediction using machine learning approach. So I'm going to use small short name of my things. Then pass on one, two, three, four. Then I'm using login. Once I login, directly can go for the upload data set page. Here I can upload the data set. So I'm using my data set here. Once I upload a data set, my data set it will go for the preview page. In preview page, you can go there, you can see the data set uploaded by. So this is the data set uploaded by me. As I mentioned, I am taking 29 employees as an example. Click train, it will go for the training page. So I am waiting for training to complete. So its training has been completed. 
directly I can go for the main page now this is the main page again I have to run just a minute Once training completed means it should be completed correctly or else it will reload the page. So I am waiting for training to complete without any fail. So training has been completed. So this is the main page. In main page directly you can see the employee details. View employee details. In employee details you can see the employee details. So 30 employees I am taking. So 30 employees details will be provided. Okay. So for example. I can see my 30 employee details so so first employee age 30 uh, research and development department distant from home 9 kilometer education second level is completed second level uh, then medical be working as a medical field mail job road laboratory technician job citation index 3 up to 10 you can uh, index so he was a single person monthly income 2000 that means uh, 2 lakhs 20,000 rupees he any okay number of companies worked he he was a fresher working with us company only over time he not doing any over time percentage of salary I yearly so 13 percent we are giving I for him okay year since last promotion so he now currently working for last one year so this is the data set we can see our data set here okay then we can check for the update employee details here you can apply apply update any employee details also if you want to upload any employee details means you can update also for example i am updating my employee 15th 15th employee i am considering see the 15th uh, employee he age 37 15 see that age 57 distance from form 11 as well as he completed second level medical he was a female person working as a health representative married his income was nearly 47,000 his income her income this is the data of that I can update the data so employee details 15 select parameter if I want to update the distance she was moved somewhere from the distance so currently he was residing in 11 km from the office now I am going to upload 30 km from the office job road Currently, she was working as a health representative. So, I am just going to promote her. So, promote the job role as manufacturing director. Then, marital status. She was single at that time. Just a minute, I will check in. So, no, she was married. Again, I am going for the marital status as a married. So, I am submitting this form. So, updated successfully. Total form. So, if I up refresh the employee details means you can check the details 15. So, 13 km from the office. I promoted her as a managing manufacturing director. So, I am going to update her salary also. So, I am going to update employee details. So, directly I am going for her profile 15 employee ID. Just I am selecting 15 as a input. Select parameter. I have to monthly income i am just updating here so currently her monthly income was 47000 i am just uploading updating into 77000 okay so same job role i am not changing just submitting so it's updated if i am refreshing means so you can see 77000 okay you can update any details here for example, again I am updating here profile. So, for example, I am changing that uh, first two person details here. Okay, research and development, laboratory technician, job certification index 3. I am updating his job certification index. For example, update employee details. 0 ID, select parameter, job certification index. Currently 3, I am changing into 6. So, his profile was laboratory technician. I am 
demoting that uh, profile into research scientist so currently he was single i'm changing that profile into married you can change any details here for example distance from home job satisfaction monthly income over time salary height current role since last month you can ask you can update any details just i'm updating here updated successfully once it's updated means i can see here so the data is updated here see he was married promoted as a research scientist okay everything updated okay now you can directly check attrition here you can see number of employees going to depart from the company okay you can check you can check everything here just now so it should be train again okay we updated data set now so we have to train again for the prediction so again we have to update the current update the data set current updated data set for the attrition prediction so once we updated again means it can we can see number of employees going to depart number of number of employees going to stay with us okay we can see everything here okay once we uploaded the data set can check with the attrition so we can check for the attrition here we can check attrition here so see the attrition the accuracy of employee attrition prediction 97% or nearly 98% so we can check so i am promoted zero okay see employee attrition no he going to stay with us okay so this person going to depart number 1 going to depart from our company again see i am promoted 15 also so she going to stay with us okay see the details here okay nearly 2 persons going to depart 28 as well as first then 13 3 person going to depart from our company remaining 27 percentage persons going to stay with us okay this is the attrition details okay see how is working then we can check graphical analysis also more important part we can check importance okay here monthly income, income plays a major important role in attrition second age age also playing major importance in attrition so again i am going to check okay so age also playing major importance then distance from home third then salary height these are the major contribution towards the employee attrition then i am going to check next graph you can see monthly income with uh, attrition the uh, see the graph here the red bar chart belongs to people who are uh, tends to migrate from the company as well as blue bar tends to company or uh, people who are willing to stay with the company okay you can see the people who are getting lesser salary tend to move out of the company okay so this is the monthly income with the attrition as you can see age versus attrition people in the age less than 30 33 tends to move from the different company so age versus attrition graph you can see distance from home versus attrition see the graph here so people who are near to company they only willing to move out of the company so salary high percentage versus attrition so if the high percentage lesser than 10 means people will like to move out of the company high higher means people willing to stay with the company so this is the salary high percentage versus attrition ratio then you can see uh, previously worked company with a satisfaction so okay so if people working in only one company means they tend to move out of the company if one people move working for a long time with the company means for example eight companies nine company means company rate increasing means they tend to stay with the company only okay then here in current position current role okay if one person staying with the role less than 2 years means he willing to stay out of the company if work person working more than 10 years like that means he willing to stay with the company so this is the current role which is attrition over time is the attrition we can see uh, it not producing any major impact at all okay then see marital status versus uh, attrition 
majorly single person willing to move out of the company married person willing to stay with the company the number of promotion with the artisan if one person getting lesser promotion means he willing to stay out of company getting promotion means he willing to stay with the company so this is the complete graphical analysis we are getting okay so again i'm going to explain monthly income then age distance from home then salary height these are the major parameter major impact creating on employee attention okay so again i'm saying if you need to get any machine learning kind of project means please approach iwexpert.com okay be willing to help you thank you